we're doing a makeover today. It's going to be amazing. I know you can't see my face. It's all good. We're abiding by the rules, all right? But we're here in Lunatic French Salon, Salt Lake City, Utah. Makeover's going to happen. Stay tuned. Let's check that out. Look at all this amazing, beautiful hair. We're gonna cut this hair off. One of the things really quick, let me have you take off your mask. I just wanna see your face. Cool. Okay. Fabulous. With your face shape, this is actually gonna work really well. That's what's so awesome about this. Man, you have beautiful hair. She has a ton of hair, a ton of hair. This is, this is the hairdresser's dream right here, is to cut hair like this. So this is gonna be fun. I'm excited to share that with you guys. brushing out the hair. We're gonna be finding where the hair naturally wants to part. And then I'm gonna ask Kylie where she parts her hair. Where do you part your hair? All over. So if she parts her hair all over, one of the things is that we're gonna cut it in the center. That's gonna allow her to part it from left to right, all different directions. And whenever you're taking out moisture, you wanna kind of scrunch out the moisture. You don't wanna rub the, the cuticle of the hair. A lot of times people might rub it and that's just gonna cause more friction on the hair. Finding the natural part in her hair is what I did is, it's something I call blousing, right? And blousing is when you actually brush the hair back like this, and then you push it forward, just like so, and you'll find where the hair naturally parts. And that's usually, that can usually be right there in the center. And you can find that on the side, you can find that from the front to the back, over the top of the ears, you can find that pretty much everywhere on the head. There's a lot of people out there that might be a little bit scared of something like that, but you know, the people that have the confidence to cut their hair, it's an empowering thing. So that in itself, I encourage you guys, if you've never done anything new with your hair, I would encourage you to try something. And so hopefully today you get inspiration from something like this. So let's get right into it. I divided the hair from left to right. And then I took a section right above the occipital bone, about an inch above that. It goes straight across to the back of the ears. And now, right now, let's go in and let's start cutting some hair. I know this line, we want this line to sit about right here. And we want it to sit above her shoulders. We don't want to have hair that's gonna flip out. So we're gonna bring this line right there. And then, and you can see how my point cuts are a little bit deeper. And I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna cut some of those longer bits off and I'm gonna look and see where that length is sitting, okay? I'm gonna bring it up just a little bit more. And as you can see, as I start to point cut, I'm not point cutting at a 45 degree angle, which I definitely could, but I'm coming straight vertically parallel into the section. And with that, I wanna find it, I want those bottom sections to be very, very seamless. I don't want it to be like this extremely choppy point down at the bottom. Because we're gonna go in and we're gonna remove some weight through here as well but I wanna get that perimeter rocking in there first. And right before we move on, I'm gonna double check that, make sure we're even. It might be a little bit long. Double check that, make sure that's even. It's looking good. Take right from these corners. Perfect, okay. As you can start to see, cause she's got a lot of natural texture in there, the hair is starting to bevel out, starting to kind of have a triangle effect. So before I move on, I'm gonna remove some weight. How am I gonna remove some weight? I'm gonna go in between here and I'm gonna start kind of cutting out some inside crevices, okay? We're gonna do that with a razor. So now I'm gonna take, take the next section down, okay? All the way through here, just for you. Take the next section down. We're gonna cut the left side down here on the perimeter and then we're gonna cut this side down here on the perimeter. One of the things, when you, when you start to, when, when you really start point cutting the hair, one of the things is that you want uh, it's, it's, it's a very soft movement. You're not 
going in, kind of trying to really chop with the hair, you're um, like anything, I look at it as kind of like chiseling hair. And so like, it's almost kind of like you're chiseling clay. You know, I really like that, that soft movement that point cutting can give. And you can point cut, which is so great, is that you can actually point cut, you can make it really, really choppy, you can make it really, really soft, you can make it almost like very, very blunt. The thinner your point cuts go, the blunter it's gonna look. The deeper the point cutting that goes, the chunkier it can be. As you can see, there's a slight angle, so it's gonna be a little bit shorter up through here. It's gonna be a little bit longer in the front. We're not going for an extreme angle. We're just going for something that almost kind of hangs a little bit longer in the front. It's not gonna be like this. It's not gonna be a, a crazy triangular graduation or anything. Um, one of the things, when we, when we were consulting, uh, I, w I really wanted to take into consideration Kylie's face shape. That was super important. She's got a face shape that's absolutely beautiful. There's nothing to really hide from. Sometimes if, you know, like for example, somebody like me, I have a little bit more of a forehead. So um, some people have a little bit wider jaw lines. And with Kylie here, she can wear a lot of different styles because we're not trying to hide anything with her face shape. And we'll see that when we get all the way done. Like she can have height, she can have width, you know, she can have a really super like narrow. It's really gonna work on all facets. There's a class I'm developing right now. It's basically the principles of texture, how and when to stop when you're cutting texture. Where's too much, where's too little, where's gonna get volume, where are you gonna kind of collapse shape, where can you bring out the volume, all of that cool stuff. This is like this, this is a change, you know, you can see the difference in the lengths right through here. And that right, again, this can be so empowering to cut your hair. You know, I encourage everybody for massive change one time in their life, because you never know. So as we start to really kind of see what's happening here, from the weight that we've taken out underneath, starting at that first layer, the, the hair that we've taken out from the, the underneath, right through here, and then that second layer through here, that has helped to collapse. And if you look and we shake this through here, you're gonna see how it doesn't build up too strong along the bottom. Because again, so many people, especially Kylie here, she has a ton of hair. She has enough hair for a small village. Okay, I've been to that place. There's a lot of hair there, okay? No, just kidding. The whole point is that she has so much accumulation of hair along the bottom, it's, it's really crucial to remove that weight down through there. And even if I was going through with a razor, I went fairly close to that scalp, the hair's not gonna stick up because it's not at a point on the head. If I was dealing with the round of the, the, round of the head and above, and I went that short, then the hair was gonna stick up. But down through here, the hair's gonna collapse really nicely. So I'm not gonna do anything on this top portion yet, and we're gonna finish doing the rest of the 50% of the haircut. Because I do 50% of the haircut wet, and I'm gonna do 50% of the haircut dry. Hey guys, when, um, so I'm removing a little bit of weight now and I want to remove a little bit of weight because one of the things about, you, you want to personalize your haircuts. Personalizing your haircuts comes down to really going in and uh, when you start to remove weight, it's just not this, um, it, it's, it's not something that you go through and you do, um, you have to do it with intent. There's, there's a reason behind it. And what I'm trying to do is where I'm starting to take out that weight, you can see this like little piece right here, this piece isn't gonna stick up. What it's gonna do is it's gonna help create volume in there. And it's gonna help also create pieciness between her like waves and curls. Because if you look at that, 
there's a separation between the two pieces that I um, took out the weight from. And I'm going in and I'm using a mohawk section. So mohawk section, mohawk, mohawk, which turns into horizontal on the side of the head. So. And then holding it straight up and go in and I'll take out just a little bit of weight. Just kind of keep that same texture that I was doing underneath, but I'm not going as aggressive up on top because I don't necessarily really have to. And then if you come on over here, come on over here and check this out over here, you know, we can start to see that you're going to start to see there's separation between some of these pieces. And so what you have, like what I want you to imagine is that now if these are gonna be waved right through here, you're gonna have short hair in between. So you're gonna get some really cool separation with her wave and her curl. But it's also gonna look really good when it's straight, as you can see. So, you know, that's, that's the whole method to the madness right there. So right here, I was cutting this direction. So I was cutting forward. It goes from short to long this way. Over here, I'm just gonna reverse and I'll go this way, which is the same direction that I'm actually going. It goes from short to long, long being in front, okay? So anything you do on the left side, you're gonna do the same thing on the right side. If you were to cut the opposite way, the hair's gonna move a different direction. So make sure that you cut the same way from one side to the next. What I noticed like back through here is I, I still want to layer this internally right through this area right through here. So this hair kind of hugs a little bit more and kind of steps up a little bit more. Now I'm going to take vertical sections here and as you can see if you let's let's bring you right over here so you can see that angle right from here. And so you'll see as I hold this out it's a really solid piece of hair. So I'm going to go in through here and I'm going to cut oops, right through here and cut out right through there. And it's going to break this up and it's going to work in a way that goes from like short to long, short to long, short to long. And you'll see how that really brings in and it makes it instead of going straight, now it kind of makes it round right through there. And I'm not taking out too much hair. As you can see, it's like, that's not like too much hair. It's very, very little. It looks like it's a lot more than it really is. But if you look at it, you know, that's not that much hair. If there's not enough weight taken out for the density and the texture that that person has, they're not going to be able to get uh, the volume they want. They're not going to be able to get the movement that they want and their hair can essentially be shapeless. Um, it could be a beautiful haircut, but if they can't do it, if they can't style it for themselves, you know, and that's the thing, it's like keeping Kylie in mind here, she's got wavy texture, you saw that before. And so with that wavy texture, with some of those short bits, I want her hair to get even curlier as it's shorter because she doesn't have as much weight on her hair. So her hair might go from like wavy to a little bit more kind of curly wavy. I love it. So. I'm going to start to style, style this and kind of see how this is coming alive. And you can see how this shape goes from a little bit shorter to a little bit longer. And again, it hits, I mean, if you were going to pull this down, it would hit about her, her collarbone, um, like right through here, um, collarbone higher in the front, but you've got that muscle, your trap, things, your trap muscle right there. Um, but you can see as when we blew this out before with my um, Mason Pearson style brush, you know, there was a little bit more of a bevel in there. I took a flat iron through there and I kind of flattened those ends just a little bit. Um, and you can see how it actually has more length. It looked a little bit shorter, but this is a really, really perfect length. I love it. Kylie, do you love it? Yeah, I love it. She <laughs> loves it. So as I start to put a little bit of texture in here, I'm gonna put a, um, like a spray wax in here to bring out some of this texture. I almost kinda wanna bring out, not necessarily a little bit of weight, but more pieciness for sure. Okay guys, um, this is our finished result. You know what I mean? I, I mean, the, 
Kylie's smiling underneath here. She looks amazing. I mean, honestly, to really kind of kind of recap a little bit about the shape, what we've done, and we cut um, basically, you know, um, cut the perimeter. Okay, a couple different layers. It essentially got it started off a little bit shorter underneath, and each layer got a little bit longer, a little bit longer, a little bit longer. It goes from short to long, in the front. Uh, we styled it off with a round brush, an Mason Pearson style brush. Uh, and then we took a little bit of flat iron through there. We started taking out some texture. As you can see, the texture creates pieciness in there. You can start to see the pieciness starting to happen. Meaning that you don't have to put a lot of product in there to get the texture. And the reason why we cut that texture like that is because she's got wavy hair. And um, hopefully this is going to get a little bit curlier when um, she dries it curly. It will actually. So with that, then we went through and styled it, put a little bit of a volumizer at the root, and then went through with a little bit of a wax spray to give some of that texture. Yeah, and right now, I mean, she can toss it from side to side, and you can see how it's fabulous. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have her take off her mask. Go ahead and take off your mask. Yeah. And as you can see, you know what I mean? She has a beautiful face and this shape goes extremely well with her face shape. Keeping in mind, because one of the, like, one of the beautiful things about her face shape is like width looks really good, length looks really good. So has she, since she has wavy curly hair and she can straighten it, you know, that in itself just looks stunning. Look how beautiful she looks. So. And I mean, she's got the personality for wild <laughs> hair. So the bigger, the better, you know? And because there's nothing about her that should be standing in the corner. She should be right out front, in front of everybody. Huh? Yeah, yeah right. exactly. <laughs> so, and I'm lucky to work with her on a daily basis. She's a hairdresser, so why not keep it big, okay? Go big or go home, right? Again, guys, my name is Jake Thompson Hair. I hope you guys enjoyed what we did today. Makeover, I wanna thank Kylie. Uh, thank you so much, Kylie, for donating your hair and your time. You look absolutely amazing. If you guys like this, comment, like it, share it. I uh, really appreciate you guys stopping by. If you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe. I'd love to have you guys around. So we're gonna be uploading videos once a week. So with that, that concludes what we did for today. Thanks for stopping by. We'll see you guys next week.